In this video, we will learn how to find the value of sine of inverse of cotangent of x. It can also be said uh, to find out value of sine of r cotangent of x as inverse of cotangent function is also known as r cotangent function. Before finding the value of sine of r cotangent of x, Let's first know the properties of inverse function. Let f be a function such that the inverse of f exists for a given domain. The inverse of the function f is denoted by f to the power minus 1. Let us assume at point x the value of function f is y. So f of x is equal to y. then inverse of f of y is equal to x. We will apply ever properties to solve sine of r cotangent of x. To find out the value of sine of r cotangent of x, let's assume y is equal to r cotangent of x. As R cotangent is the inverse of cotangent, so cotangent of y is equal to x. Squaring the both sides doesn't change the equation. So we got square of cotangent of y is equal to square of x. Adding 1 to both sides gave us 1 plus square of cotangent of y is equal to 1 plus square of x. as 1 plus square of cotangent of y is equal to square of cosecant of y by application of famous trigonometry identity square of cotangent of y plus 1 is equal to square of cosecant of y so square of cosecant of y is equal to 1 plus square of x reciprocal of square of cosecant of y is equal to square of sine of y so taking reciprocal of both sides, we get square of sine of y is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus square of x. Taking square root of both sides gave us sine of y is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus square of x. As we had assumed, y is equal to r cotangent of x this implies sine of r cotangent of x is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus square of x thank you for being with me i hope you like this video please click the like button and subscribe button do not forget to press the notification bell so that you get the notifications of my new videos and do write in the comments I am eager to listen your thoughts. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thank you.